What's up guys? Mr. Surplus not here bringing another part to the series on archery slash bow hunting. Again, these videos are not just for guys that are getting into bow hunting or thinking, no, if you just want to shoot your bow, buy a bow, and get into archery, just shoot for fun, bro, do it. It's a great pastime. Um, really nice for the boys, for the kids. You know, they'll have a great time and you guys will enjoy it too. Um, we're talking here about my 09 Martin Cheetah, about all the different components that I have put on it to make it a really good, excellent shooting bow. And uh, I was letting you guys know about the peephole. Some guys, um, they opt for getting the, um, the string, the string splitter, or there's different type of sights out there. Um, I know the peephole with a little vinyl tube that keeps it straight. It's one of the older ones um, that's been around for the longest times. And I have, I think they even have different sizes like 116, uh, 316s, 38s. I got the one that when you pull and you look through it, all you see is like a scope. You see just the ring of the sight. So I, I really like it. I haven't had no problems with it. I mean, I got 2020, so I can use it very good, no problems. And all this stuff that I've done to this bow, it has just made it a magnificent bow. Uh, again, I know that there's probably better bows out there. I couldn't tell you because I don't have the money to buy. I didn't really want to go out there and spend $700, $800, 900 $1,000 on a bow. Okay, and I know Matthews, um, PSE, I mean, even every brand of bows, even, even Martin, believe it or not, Martin has their high-end bows, which is like $800, $900, okay? Um, they got the new, new one called the Right Terror, I think, um, or another one called the Menacent, and those arrows are, those bows are very expensive, okay? But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get something that will do the job, that will compete with those. This bow, I can put this bow toe to toe and do the same type of hunting. It's shooting at 302 feet per, feet per second. And with all the stuff that it has on it, it's got pretty decent stuff. I can go with this bow toe to toe with a Matthews. Okay, yeah, the, maybe the Matthews is a little bit more quiet, more silent. Uh, that it might shoot faster, maybe with a taller guy. Um, it shoots 360 feet per second, 340. I think it's shooting about 340, the C7, okay? Um, uh, but you know what? Remember, every time they advertise the speed on a bow is based, listen to this, is based at least and most definitely on a 70 pound weight of pull with a 30 inch draw. I don't have a 30 inch draw because I'm not very, I mean, I'm not six foot, you know? Uh, somebody that's gonna have a 30 inch draw, 32 inch draw is gonna be maybe like a 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 six feet tall guy. He's super long arms, yeah, he's gonna have like a 30, 31, 32 inch draw. I don't, I have like a 26 and a half. Okay, that right there is going to cut down on my speed. My bow, I don't have it set at 70 pounds, even though I can. Okay, I have it set about 65, 68. Why? Because that's plenty for what I need it, for honey. I, want, I don't want to be killing myself. And then when I, when I go into the valley, when you go into the valley, it's that when you're pulling on the string, it's hard. And then from here on, it goes whoop. That's called going into the valley. Okay, you're pulling on it and then it's hard and then when it goes soft on you, when you have a full complete draw, that's called going into the valley. When I'm at the valley, you know, yeah, it's a little lighter, but you still gotta hold it there. And then, you know, the, 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 the harder the draw and the more poundage you have on your bow, you know, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, you know? And, and if you shoot a lot, you wanna be able to shoot and not after five minutes have to say you bow down because you're dead. You know, you can't pull it no more now, bro. You don't need to do that. Okay, yes, if you're 6'2", well, glory to God, you know, get yourself a PS, PSE, a Matthews, 
uh, any brand, uh, maybe even one of those Riteras or whatever from Martin, whatever brand you like, and, and have it set up at 72 pounds, and, tell, and when you go get it fitted, maybe you have a 31 inch draw length, great. When you shoot that bow, you're probably gonna be shooting that bow over, you know, 320, 330 feet per second. Also, what type of arrow you use, the weight of your arrow, the length of your arrow, all that, what type of tips, okay? All that's gonna matter on your velocity, okay? So as long, listen, even with a 250, 280 feet per second bow, you can hunt with that, man. I'm telling you, you know? And again, let me emphasize on this, like I do, and I hope you guys pay attention to this, okay? When, um, with bow hunting, it's the same thing as when you go hunting deer, okay? And with a rifle. I see, hear guys at the range and everywhere, oh, you know, to go hunting deer, white tail, oh, you need a 300 Ultra Magnum. Oh, you need a 270. Oh, you need a, listen. Listen to this. 308. That's the biggest I will go. The deers that I've shot that I'm gonna show you guys later on, I shot them with my 308. And I actually have shot them with match ammunition, okay? To make really little tiny holes. And those rounds are hollow points. They're not uh, polymer tips, uh, soft points. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, Acubon, no, no, none of that stuff. Regular hollow point tips. The entry hole is real tiny. You can barely see it. On the other side, a hole the size of an orange almost, or a tangerine. That shoulder on the other side, I haven't been able to salvage the meat. With the 308, best white tail caliber. Okay, and even if you do, even if you do, um, um, Barmet hunting, coyote, 243. I'm thinking about maybe purchasing a 243 and setting up a nice little rifle just to go hunting my white tails. Because I don't want to take my big ZZ 550 when I've gone hunting or my 300 Ultra Magnum short action Remington Sendero. Okay? 243. Great. Why? Deer is soft. Deer is just like a, um, a lamb, okay? Yes, like lamb, like a ram, okay, like a goat, like pronghorn, it's the same thing. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys have skinned the deer like me when you guys hunt, it's soft. Behind the shoulder, that's all soft there. You're gonna, all you're trying to do is go through the lungs, the heart, and come on the other side. You're not hitting no bone if you're hitting it right there. Yeah, some guys, sometimes you might hit it on the shoulder, you know, because you hit a little forward, whatever, but your ideal place or kill zone, there's no bones there, okay? And you hear guys other way, oh, a 270, or 30 odd six, that's a destroyer. A 30-06, you can go with a 30-30 lever action. A 30-06? Are you kidding me? It's too much. It's an overkill. Same thing with a bow. When you're going to hunt with a bow, you don't need 340 feet per second. You don't need 380 uh, 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 C7 specs. Uh, 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 no. 280. 300, 290 feet per second. Set your boat at 62. See, I've heard, I, there's guys that hunt with their boats at 60 pounds. So they could, you know, draw it easy, you know, nice. Okay? That's all you need. With the technology that we have nowadays, how quiet the bows are, that you pull back with all the components you can put to quiet down the bow, 
at 60 pounds. I've heard of people hunting with 50 for you know juveniles, young kids, young ladies. A ladies bow, 55 pounds. 55 pounds. 50, 52. With all the stuff on it that makes it really nice and quiet. Before the deer knows it, a pass through is done. You use really good hunting hunting tips. The best one out there I recommend, the Rage. And we're gonna talk about that when we come back in the videos. We're gonna jump into the quiver, the arrows, and the tips. I think I've covered pretty much everything on the bow. And then after I talk, to talk about the arrows, tips, and quiver, we're gonna go and do some shooting. All right, guys? So that's it, man. Don't do the old, uh, I need a 30-06 bow. You don't need that. Oh, I need a 300 Ultra Magnum bow. You don't need that. I need a PSE that shoots at 365 feet per sec. You don't need that to go hunting. Okay? That's what I thought. That's what I, I was looking into when I bought a bow. I don't need a $700 bow. I don't need an $800 bow. If you shop around and you do your reviews and you check things out, you can get a very decent bow. Okay, a very decent bow, whether it's from Diamonds, PSE, uh, PSE Parker, Martin, um, Browning. You can do, uh, you know, uh, uh, get some, uh, get a nice bow for maybe 400 under 500 bucks. Okay, the thing I like about Martin that they have for the price and bargain, they have, they give you the most for your money that's that to round off this whole thing why go with Martin first they have the technology they've been around for the longest you know what I did when I started getting into this I went to each man of, you know how long PSE has been in business 15 years go to each website and go where it says about us on different boat manufacturers where it says about us or just hit history they have it in their website and if not just google it and go to PSE go to diamonds okay go to Parker these are guys that have only been in archery for like 20 some years 30 years PSE is the least one they just have engineers they have the money to back up their technology they have engineers that they get paid well to work for them and they they, they have the designers that doesn't mean that they've been no but if you do the research Martin has been around for like 65 years, okay? They're expert in regular uh, wood bows. I forgot what they call the traditional, your traditional bows, okay? Expert at that. They were one of the first pioneers on those, okay? Like the Robin Hood type wood bows. Go to their website, okay? So they are, they've always been the type of bow manufacturer that they offer the most value, bargain, components on their bowls, okay, and quality for the money you're paying. $300, you can get nice bowls. They only shoot about $260, $250, the Cougar, I think. But it's for like $250, $270. And if you hook that bow up, it'll be like a top end bow. Right here, $315. This bow, it'll go toe to toe with any C7. I can guarantee you that, okay? Off a tree, on a blind, behind my house, anywhere. My buddy that shoots with me, Bentra, he's got a recent, a recent Matthews. We pretty much shoot the same, all right? So I'll catch you guys back. And we'll talk about the arrows and the quivers and we'll go on from here. Check you out, bro.